Have you ever wondered what will be on our dinner plates in 2030? Will it still be the classic steak and potatoes? Or will we be munching on algae chips? You see, my dear gastronomies, the future of food is as unpredictable as the British weather. Today, we're seeing a rise in plant-based diets. Tomorrow, we might be slicing into steaks grown in a lab. Yes, you heard it right. Lab-grown meat might just become as commonplace as your Sunday roast. And speaking of roasts, who's to say we won't be roasting algae in the future? Algae, the green slimy stuff that grows in your fish tank, might just become the superfood of the future. So, if all this talk of lab-grown meat and algae chips has got your stomach churning or your taste buds tingling, hold on to your hats. So, if you're a foodie with an adventurous palate, buckle up. The future of food might just be a roller coaster ride. Say goodbye to farm animals and hello to petri dishes. Lab-grown meat is on the rise and it might just be the steak of the future. Now let's chew the fat on this one. Imagine a world where your Sunday roast didn't come from a farm but from a laboratory. It sounds like science fiction, but it's closer to reality than you might think. Welcome to the world of lab-grown meat, or as the scientists like to call it, cultured meat. In essence, lab-grown meat is exactly what it sounds like. It's meat, but it's been grown from cells in a lab, not reared on a farm. It starts with a tiny sample of animal cells, which are then nurtured and fed until they multiply into a piece of meat. The benefits of this could be immense. For one, we could drastically reduce the environmental impact of meat production. No more extensive pastures, no more methane emissions and a lot less water usage. Plus, there's the potential to reduce animal suffering, a point that's sure to please our vegetarian and vegan friends. But it's not all smooth sailing in the petri dish. There are challenges to overcome. First, there's the cost. The first lab-grown burger, cooked and eaten back in 2013, cost a whopping $250,000. That's a bit steep for a barbecue, wouldn't you say? Then there's the taste. Early taste tests have been, shall we say, mixed. But scientists are working hard to make lab-grown meat indistinguishable from the real deal. And let's not forget the ick factor. Convincing people to chow down on lab-grown meat is going to be a tough sell. But then again, remember when sushi was considered exotic? Here's a fun thought. Imagine eating a chicken that's still pecking around in the yard. It's a bit mind-boggling, isn't it? So, the next time you order a burger, don't be surprised if it's been grown in a lab instead of a farm. If you thought spinach was a superfood, wait until you meet its cousin from the sea algae. Now I know what you're thinking. Algae? You mean that slimy stuff that grows in ponds? Well, yes, but it's not just for fish and frogs anymore. Algae, it turns out, is packed with nutritional goodies. It's a rich source of protein, vitamins and minerals. In fact, certain types of algae, like spirulina, contain all the essential amino acids your body needs. That's right, it's a complete protein. It's like stumbling upon a treasure chest in the middle of the ocean. But wait, there's more. Algae is also a fantastic source of omega-3 fatty acids, which are great for your heart. And it's full of antioxidants that help your body fight off harmful free radicals. It's like having your own personal health superhero ready to swoop in and save the day. Now you might be wondering, how do I incorporate this super seafood into my diet? Well, you could start by adding a spoonful of powdered algae to your morning smoothie, or you could bake it into bread, sprinkle it on salads, or even mix it into pasta. There's a world of possibilities, really, but be warned, eat too much and you might start turning a shade of green. Just kidding. Though, wouldn't it be fun to be able to tell your friends you're going green, quite literally? In all seriousness, though, algae is gaining popularity worldwide, and it's only a matter of time before it becomes a staple in our diets. It's sustainable, it's nutritious, and best of all, it doesn't require any land to grow. It's a win-win situation for us and the planet. So, next time you're at the grocery store, maybe give that bag of spirulina a second glance. You never know, it might just become your new favourite superfood. So, if you're a health nut, algae might just be the next big thing on your grocery list. Forget about microwaves and toaster ovens. In the future, we might be cooking with lasers and 3D printers. Imagine this. You've had a long day and you're too tired to cook. But worry not, because your kitchen's got your back. You walk in and your smart fridge scans you, takes note of your nutritional needs and suggests a meal. You agree? 
and it sends the recipe to your smart cooker which starts preparing the meal. Isn't that something? But let's take this a step further. Maybe your fridge isn't just smart, it's also a fresh food vending machine. It grows its own vegetables and herbs and when you need some it harvests them for you. It's a farm to table experience right in your home. Now let's talk about 3D food printers. Yes, you heard that right. 3D food printers. These are not just figments of our imagination, but real-life devices that are being tested as we speak. Imagine being able to print out a perfect steak or a piece of chocolate cake, all with the press of a button. It's like having a personal chef who can make anything you want, anytime you want. And let's not forget about robot chefs. Yes, you might have a robot in your kitchen that can cook as well as any Michelin-starred chef. But let's hope it doesn't develop a personality of its own and refuses to make anything but toast. That would be a truly absurd scenario, wouldn't it? In the future, we will not just be eating different foods, but we will also be cooking and consuming them in entirely different ways. From smart kitchens to 3D food printers, technology is set to revolutionize our kitchens and our culinary experiences. So say goodbye to the days of slaving over a hot stove and say hello to the era of smart, efficient and personalized cooking. It's going to be a wild ride, but one thing's for sure, it's going to be delicious. So be prepared for a future where your kitchen might be smarter than you. So there you have it. The future of food might be a lot different than what we're used to. Imagine a world where your steak is grown in a lab, not a farm. Talk about a meaty situation, eh? And algae, the green slimy stuff you avoid at the beach, could soon be the superfood on your plate. Who knew, right? Now let's not forget about technology. It's not just about your new smartphone anymore. It's about smart kitchens too. Soon you might be whipping up a storm with gadgets that would make even James Bond envious. But remember folks, despite all these changes, some things remain the same. Like the joy of a good meal, the satisfaction of a well-cooked dish, and the universal law of eating, you still have to chew. So, ready or not, here comes the future of food. Just remember, no matter what we'll be eating in 2030, don't forget to chew.